I am Bo Brusco with the Linwood Times, and I'm sitting here with Mayor-elect Joe Marine in uh, Muckleteo, Washington. We're here at the Rose Hill Community Center. You can probably hear some people playing in the room next to us. If you hear any background noise, they're just using the public space. Uh, Joe, we wanted to bring you here and just ask you a few questions, but first I want to congratulate you on you. your victory this year, on uh, winning the election. If you could restate your campaign position or message for us, and explain why you think it resonated with voters. Well, from the very start, uh, and it never changed throughout the entire campaign, my message was that Muckleteo citizens had a real choice this time. They had two mayors who had both served eight years, two terms as mayor, and it, it's easy sometimes to listen to what the candidates say, oh, I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that, but it's nice to have an opportunity to say, wait, you, you both were there. Let's take a look at what you actually did with the time you were given, the time that was entrusted to you as mayor, and let the citizens decide. Did they want to move forward with more of what I had done as mayor or what my opponent had done? And I, and I think that resonated. I think that was a good message. Um, because quite frankly, I, I think it's a good idea. We should always do that. You know, a lot of times, even people have been in office for a while, they come out on election and they just want to talk about, oh, now I'm going to get this accomplished. Just elect me this time and I'm, it's like, well, wait a second, if you've been there so many years, why wasn't it, why didn't you do it already, right? So uh, I think that's a question we need to ask more of. I was there with you election night uh, to, to cover, you know, uh, the election results. But I wanted to know what you were feeling going into election night before the results started coming in. Yeah. Well, I think, and I've been through a few elections, you put so much into it, and it all comes down to that moment, right? 8.15 on Tuesday of when that first returns come in, and you hope clearly that you're ahead, and you hope it, you're far enough ahead so that you are not, so you're able to sleep. Because when you're separated by five votes, and it's a, you know, you wait for the next day and the next day, and it, it is really tough. Um, so I was extremely happy. I was pensive, clearly going into it with all of the work, and I felt good, quite frankly, with the work that we had done and the message I was getting back from voters and, and citizens when I was going door to door or when I was meeting with a group. Uh, again, the, I think the message resonated, and I was able to talk about my accomplishments as mayor. But again, you never know. So you're always, I think, um, a bit nervous when it comes to that, that first vote count. Yeah, trying to just stay, stay at peace with the unknown. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, one of the things you said after, I, I guess, post results was that you felt vindicated. Uh, can I ask why vindicated specifically? Well, I would say because it was the same opponent I had eight years ago, that again, I thought I had uh, accomplished a lot of things for the city of Muckleteo, and, and in a sense it was like, wow, I felt that, did people, did I not do a good message of letting the citizens, or reminding them of what we had done during, you know, this administration, and here we're sitting in one of the accomplishments here is the community center, which is a beautiful facility, and I, I kind of felt rejected. Right? I mean, when you lose an election, you, you feel that rejection. So I guess the vindication is to come back and say, okay, you know, let's, I'm going to really talk about our accomplishments, what we did, because again, people can say what they'll do, but once they have a record, you have to stand by that. And so, I, and I don't know, vindicated was the right word at the time, but, um, but I was, I guess, relieved, I guess, um, happy to feel that the citizens did realize and they did want me back and, and uh, to help move to, Muckle Teal forward. Yeah. yeah, they wanted to uh, put you to work again, huh? Yes, correct. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, so this next year, 2022, will be your first year uh, as mayor, um, I guess since the last time you were mayor. But what do you hope to accomplish in that first year? Well, I would say one of the really the first things, and people may not see it outwardly, but it makes a big difference inwardly, and that is some stability in City Hall, and we've had so much turnover. And will there be some changes? There are. I mean, we know we, we, uh, we're going to need a new director for the community center here. Uh, that person is leaving. 
Uh, we know we're going to have a new person in public works. That director has, is leaving. So there's going to be a little bit of turnover. But really getting the right people in those positions and getting that stability at City Hall, I think, is uh, going to be very important and, and a lot of work internally. Beyond that, uh, really putting a focus back on public safety, specifically traffic. I heard everywhere I went, not just a particular part of town, but throughout the community about uh, the speeding and the racing and people running stop signs and red lights. And, and uh, we just really haven't had a focus for years now on traffic. We, we don't have a designated patrol officer doing traffic. And so I want to get back to that and, again, get that stability back in there again. It's because the reason people do it is they know they, know they can get away with it. They know, they never, you never see anybody pulled over. So uh, that's going to be important. We're going to deal with the issue of Muckleteal Lane and uh, make a decision on that. That's been put off for way too long. Uh, obviously, continuing to move forward on the waterfront development and, and working with the port on that and how that's going to get developed. There's a, a few uh, pieces down there that we'll be working with, not only the port, but then private developers as well. Um, and really, I, I think bringing the community standard back up, I'm kind of disappointed in the way a lot of our medians look and trying to get back on that and really coming back from COVID. Uh, I think it's too easy, unfortunately, because of COVID, for people to use that as an excuse. Well, we couldn't do this because of COVID. We couldn't get this because of COVID. And we need to just start marching forward. Um, City Hall will be open again, regular hours. Uh, people will be answering phones. Right now, all you ever seem to get is a voicemail when you call. Um, so I want to kind of get back to that normalcy as much as we can. Definitely, yeah. And I think, uh, speaking of COVID, that's another reason why public safety has kind of been in the forefront of a lot of residents' minds is, uh, you know, public health safety. And now we got traffic safety and stuff here, too. So, uh, excellent. Well, I'm excited to see what you do. Uh, easy questions for you now. How will you spend Thanksgiving this year? And do you have any family traditions you look forward to? Well, we, we will spend it with family, uh, like we always do on Thanksgiving. There's about... Uh, 25 of us or so that all get together and um, and of course I think the tradition that most people have is you you tend to eat just too much <laughs> but I but I would say this year is going to be special because number one we're able to get back together uh, but also I believe that we just there's so much to be thankful for right having made it through the pandemic and um, certainly I'm thankful to be able to be in a position to move Muckleteo forward again um, but there's just there's, there's so much we, have, we all need to uh, really consider, you know, after coming through a pandemic, and uh, do we have our good health? You know, that's the most important thing. Uh, or do you have your financial stability? You know, that's a lot of those things. But we're, we're not definitely questions coming through the pandemic. Well, no, I think that's actually a beautiful segue into uh, the last question I have for you, Joe, which is, um, what would be your mayor-elect uh, Thanksgiving message to Muckleteo residents this year? Yeah. Well, I guess I would say, you know, we got through this together. Let's continue to... Um, it, it isn't just one person's job, right? It's not the mayor. It isn't the, just the council, and it's not just the staff. Muckleteo is, is all of ours. And I think uh, neighbor helping neighbor... Um, being courteous, you know, there, it seems like the last year or so, uh, people have been a bit on edge, and, and to the degree that we can, the one thing we control, as I tell people, the one thing you can control is your attitude. I can't control how people are going to come up to me or even react to what I may do, um, but I can always control myself and my attitude, and I think if we um, go forward, a little bit of grace and a little bit of patience and... Um, in the community, I, I, I think we'll all be feeling a lot better. Excellent. Well, thank you for that message, and thank you so much for spending time with the, the Times again. We always appreciate having you. Oh, thank you, Bo. I appreciate it.